We, we, we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. At the same time, government is going to more violence because no point can say, I do want to up the poor, right. but I don't want to fund war. Right. right. You have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give government your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Yep. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice, and how best to spend your own money, how best to allocate your own resources, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage yep. if you didn't pay your taxes, right? So this is how government is immoral then. This organization called a government that only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Right. So what do you think of that? It's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> apparently the only opinion that matters is the green kind, you know? Right. I mean, I never really keep track of politics, but it seems like the only way they get the votes that matter Right, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. the buy, yeah, the buy people, right, with the free, with my free Obama phone, right? Yeah, right. Uh, Bernie Sanders going to say, everybody's trying to give away free stuff, but when they forget, everything the government gives away was stolen from someone else. Right, <laughs> right? everything is free. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, no, Terms and conditions apply. Right, right. <laughs> that's fine print. Well, use your unborn children as collateral to sustain these debts, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, perfect, so that's, so what we're advocating for is, abolishing these monopolies. So right. that's all that government is. Yeah. They have a monopoly on the services you and I want, like ABC on Distal Spirits, like USPS with uh, First Class Mail, right? right? Monopolies, I don't have the freedom to economically cancel and subscribe as I can from a real business right. or compete entrepreneurially. So you know what? I could provide you a better service. It's not gonna be abusive or harmful right. to you, the consumer, right? right. Uh, so what do you think of that? Abolishing these monopolies. Let the free market rise and have real respect for, for private property, for self-ownership. Well, again, I said I don't have too much, you know, knowledge about politics. It sounds like a good idea, but the problem is getting people to actually go into doing it. You That's know? very true. That's very true. It's going to take a community of uh, strong-willed, individual, courageous people. Yeah, it's right? like that old saying: "Easier said than done." That's know? very true. That's all it is. We would like to get it done, but the people got to want it bad enough. Right, right, right. It's kind of like the stuff you see around the internet. You know, they want it, but they don't. Is there get skin the... in the game? Yeah. Right. Is it just talk? Right. Right. Uh, I mean, the most we can do is advance our own personal liberty, right? That's it. Our own personal freedom, right? To right. to unplug as much as we can from that matrix of the government right. that we've been born into, yeah. And uh, maybe band together as a community and yeah. outgrow one day the size of government, right? right? Um, and that's that's what I'm, what I'm here. We're yeah. part of a non-political organization. Right. So yeah, like you, I don't like politics. Neither do I. Yeah. <laughs> we have no interest in politicians. Nobody yeah. to dictating how best you can you know run yeah. your life. Right. The only person who has that authority is you. That's it. Right. <laughs> and that's all it is. Is that you got to be able to assert yourself, or else they're going to take it away. You know. That's very very true. Very true. Yeah. Uh, it's like one of those sayings. That, well, you know, what's that? It's not really a saying. But it's the idea that, you know, if you don't make a decision, they'll make it for you, and you're not going to want that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, through 15,000 hours of public indoctrination camps, we're taught to be subservient, right? We have to raise our hands, we have to go to the bathroom, you know, speak until spoken to, right? Yeah, think what we think. You know, we'll tell you it's in the book, scientists say. Yeah. But you can't really go that route because they're always changing the idea. Nobody knows everything for certain. Right. But it's their ego. They think they, it has to be this way, and they challenge it. Absolutely. Mess. Absolutely. Like, they'll tell you. Oh, this is funded on the social content. Yeah. Great, show me the contract. Right. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a the theory. Well, show it yeah. to me. I can show you real yeah. contracts that right. I have with ATT, Netflix, right. right, that I gave explicit consent right. to. Show me my contract. Yeah. That doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> but you're right, yeah, they use vague words to hide the truth, yeah. right? It's Pretty wrong much. for you to steal, we'll call it taxes, yeah. right? It's terrorism. If you drone bomb hospitals overseas, we'll call it collateral damage, right? right? Different much. terms for different people, Pretty right? Much. <laughs> So we, we call ourselves Liberate RBA. We do meetups uh, trying to grow a community here. Just right. a peaceful society, right. real foundational respect for, for your life. That is your house, that's your money, that's your body, right? Right. Government will say otherwise, right? right. Property taxes says, sorry, even if you pay off the mortgage, you know, right. it belongs to us. Even if that's your land, eminent domain says yeah. otherwise, right? Basically, they're turning it to the counter version of what their forefathers wanted. Right, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's like the old saying, they're turning in their graves, you know, apparently they're wiping their butts to the Constitution because it means nothing to them. Right. <laughs> at least, at least, yeah, no, yeah. At least, at least we can see the checks and balances don't work with it. You can't constrain evil. You, it, it, it grows and grows and grows like a tumor, right? Uh, the founding fathers thought that they could do it, right, with these checks and balances, and look where we are today, right? right? That's to be proof now. You cannot constrain or limit evil, yeah, exactly. <laughs> even at a small scale. Yeah. So let's let's let me uh, abolish these monopolies. Let's restart with the real free society, basic right. consent, and not reboot the matrix, right? All right. Cool. Oh my God, it's ready to get. Let me give you a, a pamphlet real quick. 
Check us out, man. Uh, we'll, we'll love to have, to have you. We do a lot of uh, philosophy as well yeah. and uh, trying trying to get out of this matrix together. Exactly. I'm Cal. I'm Brian. Brian, pleasure, man. You stay squanchy. Right. <laughs> and get swifty. Get swifty, you know? yeah. <laughs> of course, man. Let's